Hi guys, welcome back to Tree 8. I have been busily building again, as you knew I would. I still haven't got the roof up on my extension over there, but I have been doing a lot. And look what I've been building. First of all though, Kendi, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are an absolute star. Four dark oak, dark oak saplings, 11 blue orchids, fireworks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, most of you know that I'm a gardener in real life and I love the gardening in Minecraft. God, that's a funny looking tree. This is the second dark oak I've grown. I think each one gets uglier than the last. This is not yet finished. It is work in progress but over here and look we have a composter with the compost that is already made i used seeds for that because i when i'm taking up grass i've got so many seeds but of course compost heaps do spill out so you get compost on the ground and there's a workbench next to it of course a couple of orchids because all gardeners grow orchids and then we have a classic this is the way the English lay out their greenhouses, that we always have this sort of shape. You have the wood at the bottom and then the glass, and it's always a sort of triangular shape. Um, on the potting benches, we have the different flowers. We have the tulips, these four high over here. We have to go down because some of these on this side start to get just slightly higher than one block, these two in particular. And then we've got those that are four blocks at the end. Um, I have found out that lanterns attached to glass. How about that, guys? It looks fantastic. So much nicer than having to put beams in the roof. I am short of a jungle sapling. These barrels look fantastic as storage in here. Absolutely fantastic. And they're the sort of upright cupboards you would have in a place like this. The bamboo fits into a pot, how about that? These two, the cornflower and the lily of the valley look gorgeous. Now, obviously the two high flowers here don't fit into pots. So we've got them, oh, like this. Every time I tread on here, yep, they come down. <laughs> no, up guys, up. <laughs> it's not the best of designs, you have to keep putting it up. It never occurred to me that the pressure plate here would give a a problem to hear but it does but seeing as I've got the layout of the greenhouse as I want it I'm hoping that light is enough for in here I think so nothing has spawned yet so this is my greenhouse it is of course what they call tileable if we get more flowers I can extend it that way but I absolutely love it already actually it's lit it feels like a proper greenhouse with all the benches the cupboards it just feels right to me as a gardener so I love it now the one little secret area there is that you can't see from the way in of course and which every gardener has is somewhere to sit and contemplate <laughs> and that's where there's always a little bit of potting maybe an empty pot or two we'll see about that later uh, it's just you know the sort of place where I would love to have got a table by the side, but it won't go with the signs, and I preferred the chair to have arms. I think it looks better like that. So that's where a gardener would sit and have a nice look. Now down here, I have had to build a separate corral. Um, as you know, I get a lot of traveling merchants, and four of them have left a llama behind. So I've gained two brown llamas, a cream llama and a white llama, and they're all in the traveling salesman kit. So they're really very nice, but these poor guys get abandoned. I did have them in with the horses, but I think they're happier by themselves. And I have the most stunning horse guys. I absolutely love him. Um, I love the donkey. I love having a donkey. It's so cute. Such a sweetie, yes. Um, but my horse is this grey and white 
piebald, I would call it pinto, I think the Americans call it. <clears throat> and I think he's absolutely gorgeous. My voice is still sounds like I'm sort of, you know, heavy smoker. It's, it's gradually, gradually getting better. But my goodness, it takes time. And the bamboo is there. So everything, guys, I've finished the detailing on the wall here a bit more. I'm working on some steps here. I have an idea for this area. I'm very happy with the layout of the... I keep getting this noise. I'm quite happy with the layout as it is at the moment. These I don't want to be too high, it looks too heavy. I'm just debating what to do in between, whether to put a flat piece or stairs. I can't quite decide. And whether it should be the spruce stairs, which are quite light, or I haven't got any on me, but the dark oak stairs. So I, I'm, I'm faffing around. Obviously the cows are gonna have to be moved. You don't want to take a staircase to a cow's backside. Never a good look. But I think my whole area is coming on in that I think the greenhouse here with the crops here, the greenhouse here, and the house over there looks just fine, guys, just fine. I'm loving these two oak trees here. I just like them by the path. Sometimes you inherit something that just looks right. I've been trying to grow tall oaks over here. I know how to do it with putting torches and blocks, but I was hoping they'd grow of their own accord. This area I will come back to later. But with great gifts from everybody, thank you all so much. And if anyone wants to drop by and give me a jungle sapling for my greenhouse, I would be delighted, but I am, I do want to go and visit a jungle and to go and have a look at it. Uh, I have a funny feeling that I'm going to absolutely love the jungles, but I've got, we've got a whole new uh, biome in jungles and tigers that I need to go and see. But I have got so enthusiastic about building here that I haven't wanted to move very far. <laughs> And there is nothing nicer, guys, than having a project that you want to build in Minecraft. I might take that wood down another level, maybe not. Uh, but I just absolutely love it. And you can hear that under here, if we go down and have a look, my, um, my passive mob farm, because I'm building in this area at the moment, uh, is getting very happy let's go down okay probably take some damage as always but let's go and see what we've caught how has our fishing expedition gone we i heard the witch yeah look at this 57 gunpowder my goodness these passive mob farms are good and the last thing i want is that there have I got the inventory space to move it? I do. Yeah, it was right in the way. Okay, guys. So, just a little update on where I am, which is loving 1.14. I am really loving it. I've started on an area here um, collecting. I don't have much clay at the moment, but tiles. I want to have another look at tiles. Um, season before last I did a lot I have an automatic fisher here so it's just I just feel it's uh, it's one of the builds I'm really enjoying you know when you have a nice build and you like it well I like this build it's my it's my sort of size a lot of it's my signature I mean people know that I go I grow trees like this in these beautiful sort of squared off arboretum things People, well, you will know why I build like that. Everybody knows I love building greenhouses. I just wonder if I shouldn't have taken that up too to start with there, but perhaps not. I didn't have the glass at the time and I'm loving this house. Absolutely loving it. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm liking the layout. So I'm having a wonderful time. Bye-bye, guys.